is the Lord of Lords. There is no other name but the name of Jesus by which a man or a woman can receive salvation. Are you with me? Why I'm liking tonight is because I know we're way, way, way off north. I know that because there's still snow on the ground. And, I, and I'm not gonna lie, I love playing down south, down in Texas. Those geezers are rowdy, right? But tonight there's something about freedom. Why I wrote Magnify, sir, I can't tell you the full story. But hurt came to my home that should never come to a father's home. I kind of hurt that makes a man want to go real, real hard in his heart. The kind of hurt that makes a man want to sit outside, outside somebody's house with a noose. And I never thought, I don't want to tell you, bro, but maybe you do know. And I never thought I would breathe again. I never thought I would be free again. Jesus set me free once when I was dead in my sin. And he set me free twice when I didn't know how to forgive. And my own forgiveness was killing me. Forgiveness is a gift for you so that you may be set free. It's not for your enemy. It's for you so that you may be set free. You know what I'm saying? And the way the story ends, brother, it's all right. Life is hard. The reason this young fella was chatting to you, you can call people young fella when you grow a beard and it gets gray, right? It's because the Western church has sold you a version of Jesus that will make your life good. You know? You'll get good grades, you'll go to a good school, get two houses, a nice car, and a good looking woman. You'll rear good kids, and they'll go up, and they'll go to college too, and do the same things you did. If that is all this is, Lord, take me now, because that is an empty existence. Listen to me. Those things are good things. They are, aren't they? You want that for your kids. I want it. But I want more. I want to know the death and resurrection of Jesus in my life. I want the power of Holy Spirit running through my veins. I want to know what it's like to love prostitutes and beggars, the outsider, thieves, the marginalized, those on the outskirts that the religious people turn away. I want to live for them. Listen to me. And that kind of life, brother, that kind of life brings pain and hardship and heartache. But I have learned that Jesus is good in every circumstance. Circumstances do not determine who he is. He says, I am who I am. And no matter what you do, where you run, how far you go, I'm still king, I'm still Lord. And if he is that, then don't believe the hype. Jesus isn't going to give you new sneakers. He's not going to give you the job of your dreams. You can't jump out the window and fly. But you can love the outside of the lost and the least. You can honor your mother and father. You can take care of widows and orphans. You can be with the hurting. But you got to grow up to do that. And so do I, brother. You know, we got to do it quick. You know, does this make sense? You know, we can just do that Christian thing where we sing some silly songs and try and make you feel something. All of heaven is open to you. But you've got to want Jesus more than you want your pride. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. Sir, it started with me talking to you. It's taken me seven years to forgive that man. And I forgive him every day. If you're carrying on forgiveness in here, the kind of thing that's rotten your soul, and you want to get rid of it and walk out the doors free, with the kind of freedom that Jesus promised you, you just lift your hand with me as I do it one more time tonight. That's beautiful. Let's go. Be brave. And don't lift it because someone else is lifting it. Lift it, lift it because Jesus is doing a work. And we're just going to sing it. And you let him do it, all right? Take it all.